Hello students. We are moving to another important topic of the chapter carbon and its compounds from class 10 CBSC science textbook that is soaps and how we can define soap, how to represent soap and how does soap help in removing dirt. These are the things that you will learn in today's session. So when you are asked to give the definition of soap, what you have to write as soaps are sodium or potassium salt of long chain carboxylic acid. So if you are asked to give example for soap or define soap, write sodium or potassium salt of long chain carboxylic acid. What is the source of this long chain carboxylic acid? It is nothing but oil like coconut oil and the long chain carboxylic acid contains large number of hydro uh, large number of carbon atoms like 15 to 17 carbon atoms may be present in that long chain hydrocarbon part of that carboxylic acid so how to represent that molecule of a soap observe here what i have shown is just a zigzag the zigzag represents the hydrocarbon part of the carboxylic acid CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2 like that we have to read and representation is given like a zigzag manner and this is the end sodium salt of a long chain carboxylic acid and when you are observing the molecule you can see that there are two components or two parts for this soap molecule. The two parts if it is asked to distinguish, you have to first draw the structure and compare the two parts. One, the long chain hydrocarbon part. The other is ionic part. Ionic part because you can see here charges are shown COO minus Na plus. Let's distinguish between the two parts of the soap. This part, hydrocarbon part, is also called hydrophobic part. Phobia means fear. Hydro means water. Fear of water. So this is also called the tail end of the soap. It is water repelling part. The name suggests hydrophobia. Hydrophobic end. Water repelling end. But at the same time, this part is oil dissolving end. Observe the other side. This part, the ionic part, is called hydrophilic end hydrophilic hydro is water philic is love water loving end the this part is also called the head of the soap and this ionic part is water dissolving part whereas this ionic part is oil repelling part observe the structural difference and the properties differences among the structure of the two sides of the soap molecule now I'll explain about the cleansing action of soap. These are all common questions that are featured in the board paper. So simple way you can explain it. First point, you have to understand the structure of the soap molecule. Now I'll explain about the cleansing action of soap. What is shown in the figure is many soap molecules are shown there. And it is a picture or a uh, diagram where the soap molecule is added to water. Now what is the name of the structure? It is a spherical structure or cluster of soap molecules formed when soap is added to water. We call that structure missiles. Now what is this missile? How to explain it? Clearly you can understand that since the water soap molecule has two parts that is hydrophobic part and the hydrophilic part the hydrophilic part that is COO minus Na plus part remains dissolved in water whereas the tail part or the hydrophobic part gets rippled by water and there are structures many spherical structures formed in water due to this orientation in which the head part remains dissolved in water and the tail part gets rippled by water. So lot of missile structures are observed in water. 
let's see what happens what is the purpose of this or how is it useful in water suppose you immerse a, a cloth containing oily dirt in that soap solution what happens there observe the structure here the oily dirt the hydrophobic part of the missile clinches itself to the oily dirt the reason being hydrophobic part is oil dissolving part whereas it is repelled by water but it dissolves easily in oil so the missile structures helps to remove the oily dirt by dissolving the oily part by the hydrophobic part when you scrub the cloth what happens is the oily dirt detaches itself from the cloth missiles help in removing the oily dirt from the cloth because of this reaction hope that this is clear to you so you have now understood how we can use soap to remove dirt oily dirt from clothes so in the session you learned about the structure of the soap which has two parts hydrocarbon part and a ionic part and how soap can be used to remove oily dirt from clothes if you have any doubt post it in the comment box do not forget to like share and subscribe this channel chemistry is made simple through simple way of explanation any doubts feel free to post it in the comment box thank you